Then I try to open the cupboard door. It's locked, eh? What? Then I'm like, huh? then, <laughs> then, then I was like, pa, 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 pa. <laughs> couples out there, don't do this if you're traveling together. This is your daily catch up. Singles can. Okay, la, welcome yeah, back. Yeah. La, go New York, come back already. <laughs> huh? Leave yeah, the rest yeah. of us here. There's so much pent up energy, guys. Eh? Present, present, present. Yeah. Mega hat. Mega hat. Really? No? <laughs> 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 He's like, I look cool. John is back! Woo! Yay! Yeah, a few times actually. Which I'm pissed off. We're gonna be back for. No, we better. don't know, so we're just saying it for all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but okay, so John basically, he recently went for a anniversary. Trip of my life. Yes. It was an anniversary trip. It was with damn Pat, long. Right? Yes. Sorry, can I say something? So, to- did, have y'all tried emailing John while he was away? So, I had to CC him in one of the emails, right? And the template email that bounces back, right, is he's away for anniversary trip. So then he says, I'm always celebrating love. Then <laughs> it says, you can wish me well, on, on 18. Shout out to... Yeah, I'm surprised. Yeah. I, see, I didn't know the I am away emails can be like that. Oh yeah, no, we've seen yeah. some really good ones along the years. You know yeah, now the new thing them. is right not? The trend is your telegram right next to your name, right? Then you put like, I'm on leave. MC. That's not on trend, that's you are desperate, yeah. No, no, but that's so important because like WhatsApp and Telegram doesn't have away messages and it's so important to have it because mm. clients might still like text you while you're away. Right. Oh. But anyway. One episode was sponsored by WhatsApp and <laughs> <laughs> next one we bash them. <laughs> no, so today's episode we are gonna, I'm, I'm quite curious to know, right? Mm. Like when you go on a long trip with just your partner, right? Sometimes you spend so much time together. They say even as friends, you spend too much time together, so stress, you know? Yeah. So with your partner, like Ooh. we are trying to figure out whether was there anything any juicy stories coming from New York also stories from the trip stories from the trip sorry so it was a three trip. week long trip what two, cities two week plus, uh, two week plus. Yeah. What and cities also we want to figure out like what some like maybe like couple travel advice we can talk about since hmm. COVID just kind of like the world is starting to uh, open up uh, now uh, this is probably yeah. the first main like long holiday season that everybody new couples from COVID or whatever are getting yeah. to travel again maybe for the first time yeah yeah. so yeah, we see as, if any tips as in I've never really understood why I mean, okay, I've I've dated two lah. Right, one is pet, then the other one is the other one, right? Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I I never really understood why oh you gotta travel with someone to really get to know someone, <laughs> or like you know like traveling together like makes or breaks a relationship that kind of thing. I I've never really understood that. Mm. Why is that your thing? I think when you're traveling, because the whole idea is to see the person in their true colors, right? And traveling has so many like external factors, things that you cannot predict, right? That you really see someone's true colors. What is a true color? So like, for example, uh, f- flight delayed like five hours, for example, or like you go to a hotel and suddenly the booking was wrong and like to see someone in a situation of how they deal with the stress, how they problem solve and all these different things right, come yep. about when you're like traveling. I feel like before the trip also, like in the planning. Mm. Yeah, so like I am the... I am the kind where I just need to aga know like what are the places that we're gonna hit, right? And uh, then good we, enough, right? Uh, and then we just go. But then, right, my partner, she got like the Excel sheet with five tabs and then it gets like packing list. Yeah. Then everybody got an individual checklist. Yeah, then yeah. all and the information is like... This is where Pat and I differs the most, I think, in terms of travelling. Because mm. like, I just need to kind of know where we'll be. Then what's uh, the one big thing we're going to do that day? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, then yeah. that one great meal that we will travel uh, for that day. Mm. Then everything else is try. Like we walk, we judge it based on like the whether queue. the waiter got wave us down, you know, like the queue on the facade on the building that the bloody restaurant is attached to, you know? Yeah. Well, but Pat doesn't operate that way. She has to plan. And then weeks out, right? She will keep telling me to check, to check. Then I will just scroll up. Cause you know, you haven't Googled yet. So then she's just like, oh, you know, on Tuesday, we'll just go eat this uh, Alfredo, blah, blah, blah. Then it's like, okay, oh. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, I, I, okay, I can you tell you, oh, you know what I mean? <laughs> so it's like, I don't know what the f- I'm checking for, right? Then like, I right, just like, the flight's correct. Right? Then like, there's nothing I'm checking for. Yeah. So she keep checking and checking and checking and then keep telling me, right? And then on that day we go there, on the third day, I'm like, hey, shall we go and see the flat iron today? Then she, you never seen a thing. Yeah. Play on the other side with the green side. Yeah. Then I come in three times here because I'm a dumbass, right? Then I always feel like every time we got two hours, we are like, hey, what's next? Then I'm like, you see the flyer? I haven't seen the flyer. No. And then I bring it up again. Then she snap again. Then immediately, I'm like, what the fuck? Why I keep bringing this up? Three mini arguments about the flat iron. So pro oh, finally got there, right? It was under construction. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's always under ch- construction. She never oh, okay. no. So pro tip number one, as we just learned from his story, is uh, don't travel with John. <laughs> <laughs> or don't people like him. Okay. No la, I think I think that's the that's a very key thing. Like when you are deciding on whether to travel first, right? That when you're planning, right, you need to identify what kind of planner Traveler you are for the trip. Yeah. Or what and kind then, of trip you want also. Yeah, and then you need to after that find a middle ground. Like obviously there are a lot of things that if you plan last minute. 
Mm. Like if say both of you are your type, right? Then what will happen is that there are a lot of things that you go there and you realize, ah shit lah, no more tickets. So that cannot do this, cannot do that. Yeah. So I think there are definitely there is definitely value to planning ahead of time. Yeah. We so oh no, don't get me wrong. I also like to plan ahead of time. It's just that key activity, the bookings to be made, and if should we change plans, mm. I'm completely okay with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Pet cannot. De- cannot deviate too far from this shit. Which is why I feel like so. You when must warm the ground first before you want to deviate. <laughs> when I do plan for the itinerary, it's one of those rare times, right? I always like to make it okay. This is the marquee event of the day. Cannot change one. Yeah. The rest, right? We plan first, but it is optional. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's I'm like that. Color code. So flexibility yeah. in your schedule, your plans. Mm. Oh. 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 Yeah, like, share, subscribe. Okay, back to the episode. <laughs> <laughs> Have you traveled with your partner? No, I haven't. Actually, the first time I traveled without my parents was in June. Like oh, this, this year? year? Yeah, for like my grad trip. So I went with my best friend to Melbourne for nine days, which people can argue is a very long time. Very long it time. It is a very long trip. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're done with Melbourne in two days. That, that's true. That's Whoa. what a lot of the locals Calm told me down. as well. And I lived there for three years, I get it. I realized that me and my best friend, we are not much of planners. <laughs> oh, so it's this situation so, yeah, that's so, so like, like, you're just sitting but, around. No, <laughs> I actually really enjoyed it because the, the pace of life in Melbourne is very much slower than Singapore, mm. right? And I wanted to experience that also. She got sick for the first two, three days. So actually, I was exploring the city on my own. Oh. Oh. And it was the first time Wait, that, that I did safe? anything like that. No, Melbourne it, is so safe. It's okay. Uh, before, yeah. like, before like 10 p.m. <laughs> no, I mean in the city. And she's only going 10 yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Like the city area. But I also felt that I, because everything closes at 5. Yeah. Uh, I let a lot of, like Melbourne life passed me by because I like to sleep in a little bit because it's holiday, right? right? I don't want to be up and running at like 7 a.m. But most of the things are. So I also felt that I wasted a bit of my time. Just mm. like, because past 5 p.m., we don't know what to do already. Then everybody sleep at 9 p.m. Yeah. Only yeah. the Asian shops are open, Asian grocers. Yeah. So you can buy like. Yeah, Korean I always noodles. wonder about that. Like, then such a key value proposition is that I'm going to open a restaurant that's open for dinner. <laughs> you have <laughs> zero. <laughs> This Nobody place, the entire economy. Yeah, and you have zero competition. That's yeah. right. It's like, oh, like, uh, I will, like, your your production house closing and my production open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but it's quite funny because the, the shops that are open for dinner, right, are literally all, like, Asian shops. Like, there's, like, yeah. apparently the mala there is better than Singapore. Whoa. So, right. all yeah. Asians think the same way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, they, they went already. We're, like, five years too late. But McDonald's are they still open, lah? Yeah, 24 hours. But the nightlife, eh, is there no, like, clubs and all that, like, bars? I went in the winter. Actually, I wanted to go see, like, a drag show. Mm. Right. But because it's so damn cold, there, eh, the wind is so painful that I felt like I couldn't even leave the house after 7 The performers also cover up until you can, might as well wear the same thing. Well, it's kind of funny, right? They go clubs, then they wear winter outfit there. Then they need to slowly strip as the night progresses because it's getting yeah. sweaty. You actually need to go to the coat room and use it. Because like here got like oh. Zook, right? It's an outfit. Uh. Then the coat room is like actually just for like bags, right? For women to put their bags. <laughs> this is the first thing I caught out when I saw her. Like does why it, you buy just go down your bag? Wait, no, only no. half. Show, show the fashion. <laughs> oh my God, it's not even a real jacket. No, it just covers my sleeve. Does it's it a come shoulder with the jacket? <laughs> no. It's it makes sense if it does, right? Yeah. It's yeah. the same cloth. It came with a dress. Oh, right. Right. Because like on a hanger, it will look fucking noodly to begin with. Yes. <laughs> like you won't even pick it off a hanger. <laughs> no, no. So right, clubbing in winter, if you're in a winter country, honestly, it is to pack as much, right, um, into something that is light, but also feels warm enough outside, but not warm when you're indoors. And the tip is to buy heat tech. Uniqlo heat tech. Which is just general travel there. advice really, yeah. at this point. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> honestly, no, no. Because like the last thing you want to do right, is to get stuck in like a coat courtroom queue. Mm. It can take like 30 minutes, 20 minutes, right? You wear heat tech and then just a shirt and people are like, oh my god, how are you surviving out in this winter? The Japanese figured it out. Yeah. But I've been <laughs> to some very, very cold countries as well, right? Like heat tech not enough. The trick is actually the, what do you call this? Uh, gloves. Ex- no, no, no. Like the <laughs> extremities of your body. Right. Mm-hmm. So oh, you gloves yeah. and mask, right? Wow. Game changers, yeah. Your so that's also. so that's it. But we teach plus ten degree. No like So you do all the heat tech, all this thing, really, <laughs> But then yeah, just those two, and just sleeves. <laughs> 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 okay, okay. I realized a, a scarf and something to cover your your mouth is like really important. Mm. Yeah. So what was your favorite part of the US? Hey, let's go. Ooh, wow. So uh, much. Like I never so much. thought I understood what it means. Like when he says like the streets have culture. Mm. Uh-huh. You know, I always felt like culture is about what. Like this guy, he, he keeps telling me oh, the, the, the city Singapore, is- Singapore, no culture. There's so much culture and- No, I mean Singapore have, but I feel like when you live in a place, it's very hard for you to describe its culture. You mm. ask a foreigner what Singapore culture is when they come and walk, you know what I mean? Okay, okay. But, but I understood what it means like 
where every street has a story. Yeah, and yeah. like I, I, I really enjoyed New York. Like, I think Pat was n- didn't really enjoy New York, but like the first day I was them on edge lah, cause there was like a lot of homeless people, and it's like it's so much. Like whenever it's a blue state, because mm-hmm. there is like welfare and, and and social handouts, right? The amount of homelessness is so insane. Like there's someone that's like I was so close to it, cause I was just looking down as I walk, as I do, right? And then I was just seeing like. So I just thought like maybe construction they turn on the tap and what then slowly look up the water right it's a dick eh huh? this dude just peeing oh. at 8am at the at the pavement because I was crossing the road I was going this way and he was just standing there peeing like that no. in front of a hotel and he's just, and his jet is so it's so strong so, wow. <laughs> wow. he saved it the whole night yeah. Post, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wait, just for context so it's your first time in the US is it Pat's first yes. time also? No, I mean she's a cabin crew last yeah. time so she's like so she's been to New York before, lah. But she's never properly explored that place. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So, and and what's interesting is, like, the fact that it's actually acceptable to be homeless, right? I feel like there's some level of empowerment to that. Like, in Singapore, we never ever go all in, or we never ever make ultimate sacrifices, you know. But over there, it's just. It's just like that, all. I'm gonna take everything. I'm gonna invest my business. I feel uh, I'll be homeless for a while. I get, you know, I get get back on my feet. Then I might might not try again. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because even within homelessness, there's civility. Mm. Yeah, and like and they are clean. They, you know, like most of them look clean. Yeah, and the interesting thing about New York is like the energy of the people is also very different because everybody's from all over the world. It's not just the New Yorkers oh. there, like not just the locals. And everybody is there in the city for a reason. Yeah. The city is congested, it's crammed, it's packed. Things are not cheap. Why are they all there? They are all it's there so to try and chase a dream. Yeah. So everybody's story, right? Damn complex, and but very beautiful at the same time. I, I really felt that at Liberty Park. Mm. Because like, we, we didn't go to Statue of Liberty, right? So we just like sat there and then I just really think of how people like used to land here and all that stuff. Mm. Then I'm like, wow, the privilege to be able to come here as without visa, as a traveler, for fun. Ah. But hundreds of years, people have flocked to this land, not to have a good time. Eh. It's for their children to have a better for shot water. in life. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, And knowing that they will come here and be second class citizens, knowing that they'll come here and be looked down upon because of the color of their skin and the language they speak, or the language that they won't, they, they don't speak when they arrive. Mm. And they, they come here for that shot of the next generation thing. And I stand there, I'm like, oh, me, I'm here on a holiday. Eh. Mm-hmm. You know, and what that really sang, and it was like f-ing day two on my trip, damn heavy. <laughs> I was like, whoa. So, how's the pizza? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the pizza's so nice, oh. Like, yeah. I was like, pizza is pizza. I like, I like, I like Pizza Hut, right? It's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> We're laughing because pizza is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you see the pizza places in Singapore, right? If the pizza is on the rack, right? Then there's a warmer on top, right? You buy it, they just take and give it to you. But that is not same. It's there, you buy it, they hit it in the oven again. But it's just f***ing like fresh. Singapore <laughs> is like, Singapore they skim on the liao. You know what I mean? But yeah. there they really just put everything into it. And and one then slice is, is a one slice pizza. is nay, nay big. Wow, mm. that's like two slices. Yeah, like. when you put it on a plate, you need the f***ing plate. Cause like your hand cannot like, you know? Right, right, you right. You need to push it into your mouth. <laughs> People usually <laughs> fold it, right? They fold it at the middle and then they... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I roll my pizza up and eat it like a burrito. That's a weird thing to Yo, do. Yo, can I talk about <laughs> no, the theater? <laughs> can I talk about the theater experience that John Paul insists I go with? No, he resigned. People still read books, man. Hey, how dare you? Books are a great source of education and self improvement. Hey, I tell you, the only self improvement you need is for your makeup skills, ho. Sienna, <laughs> shall we go and look fantastic via shop back to shop for all my skincare and makeup needs? Eh, actually, here's your chance. You can shop on Look Fantastic on 25th November from 12 to 2 a.m. and on 28th November from 12 to 2 p.m. to get 25% cashback on top of on-site deals. By the way, I think you still need to read books because you clearly don't know how to talk to girls. <laughs> or you can go to Amazon via Shopback to get up to 20% cashback on top of on-site deals on books and more. Wow! <sighs> actually, doing these ads takes us a lot of energy and personal attacks. Uh. Maybe next time we do a normal one. Yeah, or to relieve stress and get more creative, we can go on Amazon via Shopback and even get 10% cashback on wine. Wine. Let's get it. Add to cut. Add to cut. Add to cut. Add to cut. Push, push, we go check out. Add to cut. <laughs> Sorry, 
Okay, but can don't like it won't spoil, right? Yeah, don't yeah, yeah. Them. But give them a. It's so hard to spoil the story because <coughs> it's so hard to put the story together. What, what, so what which which music? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So which, which, do you claim to fully understand? Okay, so the 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 theatrical experience we're talking about is sleep no more. Sleep no more. Have yeah. you? Do you? What's your? Okay, we explain to them first again. The so, together, so yeah. essentially, right? This sleep no more is a immersive theatrical experience. So what you're gonna do is that you're gonna buy a ticket from their online website, and then I think leading up to the date, they'll tell you the location to go. That's no, no, all. No, no. It's a planned location. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> all you need to do is turn up, but okay. there's nothing else. There's no other information. Wait, but I don't know what the show is talking about. No. Have, so, have, have. Okay. A bit only, yeah. a bit only, it's yeah. like a tease of They say loosely around the story of Macbeth, like Shakespeare and oh, Macbeth. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But then now you are thinking you're going there and watch some old, old yeah. English, older English shit, right? How then dare you? You go in, then you basically put your put your coat in a rack, then they will ask you to sign in. Like the, I think the team when I went was a hotel. It's so they hotel. treat you like you're a hotel guest that's checking in. Oh. Then they will give you a number and then they'll give you a few other things. They'll take your phone, everything. You cannot bring anything inside already. Then they'll give you a mask. Then once you enter, right, there's mask. like yeah, an actual mask for you to wear. They also give you the pandemic mask, yeah. Um. Yeah. Oh, is it? Okay, yeah. yeah. I went before the pandemic. So then once after that, you go into this chill area where everything is like wow, velvet curtains, very fancy. Right? So you open velvet curtains, suddenly you enter, right? It feels like you're in a different time zone, like you're in the 1950s right. in some like jazz bar. It's all smoky. Everybody is in character. The waiters, the, the band, everybody's in character already. So you can order some fancy cocktails. Wait, everyone is wearing masks. This character thing is they take it like super seriously. Like when you try and smile at them because you like, because even like when you go in, they give me a poker card, right? But it's like, they are branded poker card. Like it says like the hotel name, right? Then you say, yeah, this is the keys to your room. Then you can give it to the doorman when you enter the room and all that stuff. Then I just like, I'd be confused like, because I don't know what, like, am I really going to a room? Maybe I booked the wrong shit or whatnot, right? <laughs> so I'm just like, huh? Then I look at it, then it's a, it's a, it's a poker card, right? Then I just like smile, right? Then she's just like, have a pleasant stay. Like everyone is so f***ing in character. Yeah. Like right from the start. And then yeah, so they give you the mask. So I take over the mask. Okay. Huh? <laughs> so that the, the mask looks like, like some form of plague mask. Right? Oh. You know the... It's like there's a long beak. Oh. Yeah. But uh, the whole point of the mask, right? Is to block your peripherals. So that whatever oh. you see in front of you is contained. Mm. Because it's immersive, right? So what that means is that there are like maybe 10 plus cast members. You walk into the place, right? There is no... There's no one to find. There's no like you start with this, then they're gonna split up, then you go and choose your own adventure. It's not even that. Eh. They, you start at a f***ing staircase, right? They say you only have one decision to make, up or down. Then, oh, wow. then I just went up. I don't know what I would have seen if I went down, you see. Right, yeah. right, right. Then you go up, then you really wander around and the set is like, what, millions of dollars one and like it's, it's so huge. Yeah. Mm. And the, you, you just go until you find someone that's performing and because the performance has no dialogue, it's all... Oh, theatrix. Yeah, yeah, and music lah. I mean, follow music lah. It's the it's the heck lah, right? Then you just like then that person do it. Then that person lie in bed. Then you're like, are you gonna do something? Then it's like then she's still lying in bed. Then she stand up. Then she lie in bed. Then it's like okay, okay, I move on to the next person. And that's how the whole thing is like. You can pick up the props. You can interact. You can enter the own rooms with the the, the doors are closed. Yeah. Yeah. No, so, so the context right is that before you enter, like I was talking about, you they, they bring you to this bar, already, right? So that's for you to kind of just warm up, get some drinks in or whatever, right? Then after that, then they will start to call you batch by batch to enter. So like the cut that he get, right? Like maybe there's a number three there. They will ask all the number threes to come. Then after that, then all the number threes will go in together. So like for my experience, it was that they will tell you the rules before you enter. After this point, right? You cannot talk to anybody already. You cannot remove your mask. Only if you really need help, then you know that there are these people who look like the stuff that you can go to for help. But Black if not, mask, right, yeah. you cannot talk to anybody. You're not supposed to speak at all. So then they bring us all, one group. We go into this elevator. One of the characters, he's the, the lift guy already. So then the lift starts to go up. Then at every floor, huh, my every, God, no lift, yeah. every floor the door open, right? He will tell like, okay, you, 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 come begin your experience or whatever, you know? So then like wow. for, for, for some of, like when I went, right, they separated us immediately. So the like me and my friends, we all got off at like different floors if I'm not wrong. Then from there, right, once you once the, the end lift door open, right, it's like you enter like a completely different world again. And the whole building has different floors. Some of them have different themes. They're all basically like crazy sets. Right? And like, like what he's talking about is basically the whole play is live. 
and it's happening with multiple characters that can interact with each other they are running around this whole building which is the set itself so like say you see this female character running right then you will see one whole crowd of the other audience members <laughs> just just following her because they're trying to follow her story then suddenly she run up to this hallway and then there's another male character that's there at that time and then the two of them are supposed to have an interaction or maybe one attack the other or they do whatever right then they rush into a room and have a meeting whatever then the whole group right like your, you follow this crowd following the girl and then there's another group following yeah. the guy. Then now you're merged together to enter this room together to try and un- understand what they are doing. And then suddenly there's something else happening. So at any point of time, you follow character A, suddenly you see, eh, maybe there's another character I want to go and see. Then you just run over there and then you start And, and that's him. what the mask is for. Like if you get bored, like let, there are also times right? it's just me and then one actor. I was like, oh, dude, I followed the wrong person, right? <laughs> 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 you're not doing much, right? And then it's like, but because of the mask, right? Then you're like, <laughs> you know, because you don't feel like that person know who you are. Yeah, you yeah, can't open them. You can like really just get close, right? Because there are nudity within the thing, like male and female nudity. And so like, I wanted to see that flyer on the floor because they throw so many and the flyer is the same. So I realized it's something because he read the letter that he start something, right? So I just wanted to pick up, but it's so near him and he's naked. <laughs> you know, but then you with a mask, ma. Then you tempted. Pick up. <laughs> you just look like crossing <laughs> your head. Your head is dick on it. Pick up a piece of paper and read. He lift out the penis, then take a <laughs> paper cut. Ah. <laughs> so it's kind of like a choose your own adventure kind of play. Yep. And, and the interesting thing is that after you come out, like it's like I think it was three hours long. Eh. Wow. Yeah, but dude, you don't notice so how it was so exhausting, yeah. guys. Then you're just walking away, but you don't really realize, you don't feel the time pass. Then when we're done already, we all come out, right? Then we meet outside, right? Everybody has a different story to tell mm. because they all went for like yeah. they follow a different storyline or whatever. Mm. The whole play yeah. runs three times. But yeah. you don't really know the front and end because you never you never really understood where did it stuck. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So actually you can keep going again and again to get the whole story. Oh. So part of it is like building community also, is it? Like the whole social aspect of it at the end. Are you supposed to talk to no, the No, you don't talk to anybody else. No, no but like, you said at the end. No, I'll be my friends. friends. Oh, friends okay. Okay. But we each discuss. of us went and saw uh. a completely different thing. Yeah, that's oh, why okay. I feel like if you go in a couple or you go in a group, you all should just follow the different story. Well, I'll be so yeah. scared though. Yeah. Is it a dark place? Yeah. Dark place. Yeah. And is it mm. are there horror scared. aspects? It's a little bit no. creepy vibes. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Not it's not scary at all besides that it's dark dark. So it's not like Halloween horror nights, uh it's not no no jump scare, no nothing one. Like I had this I had this experience which I went to Google afterward, which I've said on my Instagram story, right? That, that I realized it was very special and people go and go again to unlock all these one-on-one experiences. Mm. Right. Yeah, and and I'm just gonna tell it again, right? Like within the after the first room, Pat and I decide that lady lying in bed, then like ah f- she's not gonna do anything, right? Then we just go up to one level, right? And then we were walking and like it was a place with like like antiquated shops and all that stuff. And so it looks very, very interesting. Yeah. Like you, even before the, you find a cast member, right? You want to look at the set because yeah. one floor got so many sets already. And Pat was ahead. And then I finally found a cast member. Excited, man, because like we got lost so quick. Eh? Like so quick we lost somebody because when they run, we never run. We stay with the person lying in bed. Then, um, then after that, that girl looked at me and made eye contact. Then I looked at her and I said, hey babe, come. Then she, she's here, you know, then got- Breaking got, all the rules. Got a few auntie, auntie all behind, right? Then they like, then after that, the girl pull out her hand. So I just go and then she grabbed my hand. Then that's when they all ran out because they, oh my God, something's happening. Eh? Maybe they take a cast member or whatnot, right? I went into a room, bang, then she slammed the door hmm? and nobody could go in. So it's just, it's just that, that lady and she, she, she quite hot. <laughs> and- <laughs> <laughs> No, it isn't. I'm, I'm wondering what that looks like for Pat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> because someone literally put me in the room and locked the door so my wife cannot come we're in. We're reaching yeah. the climax of this story. No, we're not. Nah, there's no climax. So then, oh, then she she proceeds to just give me this Horror. whole like five, ten minute monologue. Oh. Yeah. But we were literally, to me, like I only saw one frame of that story. Yeah. Then yeah. I'm here. So I don't know anything and she's like telling me about these things and she's so and it's just me and her like she, she could have just smiled at me and be like yeah it's you you know what I mean like <laughs> like oh she, from the daily kitchen no <laughs> <laughs> well, like, a, like a yeah we're about to have a one on one you know experience lah. but no she just like go and then she removes my mask yeah, yeah, yeah. and then she she cups my face and we go so close I thought we got fucking kiss you know then she leads me into a cupboard where she continues the dialogue she gives me a locket she puts it in my hand and then she say please keep this so that we like you can remember this not this place, like, but she gave a name of a place. Like. It mm. sounds very nice, I forgot. Um, yeah, I clearly didn't remember it. Yeah, because like, you, you, I haven't even followed the story yet. Then she was not even a main cast member. So she's some side character. Right. The whole show, I still don't know what her role is. She just fucking wander around. Then, 
Then she, she like so we were in the Nanya cupboard, right? <laughs> then after that she talk finished ready. Like literally, you know, cupboard space, like the size of this table there. She's standing here, I stand Wait, here. Wait, but there. you can see her like can see. Oh, uh, she cracked the door open. Uh. So I can only see her face. So she barely see me. She knew the lighting spot, you know. Yeah. And then after that, she gave me the locker and all that stuff ready, right? She puts my mask back on for me. Then she left the closet and closed the closet. Then I'm like, whoa, like my heart was pounding. Yeah. 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 Because it, it, it was so dark also. Mm. Then I tried to open the cupboard door. It's locked eh. What? Then I'm like, huh? then, <laughs> then I was like, pop, 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 pop. <laughs> I pop over until the f***ing last quadrant. Like behind, like behind the cupboard here is a curtain. Um. So I go out from the back of the cupboard into another room where there's a f***ing coffin. Then I was like, what? Oh, that's just for me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like tonight, maybe another two other persons gonna go through this. You know, yeah. and that's, that's that level of immersion. Mm. Yeah. Wow, so amazing. And then you get to keep the thing. I, I Wait, so how souvenir. do you find oh. Pat again after this? Yeah. You're not supposed to lah. I found Pat lah. I found Pat shortly after. Yeah. Uh. You follow the good looking guys. Oh. No, you follow the music lah. <laughs> Cause got the kanchong pass the music like you know then you just go lor. Oh wow, yeah. this feels like it's worth. Yo, going and to New York like something about New York is that because people are willing to pay for the arts and it's everywhere. Right. Like mm. things that wow when they come to Singapore for a couple seasons, and we're like, you know, we must go and we watch Wicked and Lion King and whatnot, right? To them, it's just forever there. Mm. Like we right. shill out two hundred and sixty bucks trying to see in France so that we can like so when yeah together with them, right? <laughs> but for them, it's just there. Like you drive into New York, just there like one H&M like that you just go in and watch all you know and the ticket is like 45 bucks then for us I paid 260 bucks to see like Lion King in Singapore you know what I mean and it's just so many of them and people are willing to pay for these arts and that's the only reason it's kept alive mm. you know and and like the Sleep No More is such it's so expensive compared to every other it's like four times the price of any normal how much is it can say on that like 100 huh? so cheap so right? cheap USD compared la. to the other USD but la. for a three hour like compared to the other place yeah yeah. yeah, but it's it scales, ma. Right. Because they like hundred people in the room, they come on eh. Right, right, right. It, it completely scales for them. They just they're gonna do that anyway. Right. Yeah. So, and then still got drinks. On that, I have another thing. On the first day, right, we were so ambitious. We started walking around New York, and New York such a walking place. Then my back and my ankles just really hurt. Then that night, we walk whole day and then we go to sleep no more. And then sleep no more, you can't jump, you really run now because you really want to know it. Like by the time the story repeats for the third time, right? You're like, oh, I still don't understand anything, you know? <laughs> so you feel like, what? Well, you really need to go already, right? And then it's... <laughs> <laughs> then you start running, everything hurts, right? Now I started... Like the next day, right? Like at 3 a.m., I, I jet like couldn't sleep already, right? Then I woke up at like 6 or 7 a.m. Or like 5 a.m., then I just waited for Pat already. Then at 7 a.m., we went out to grab breakfast. At 9 o'clock, my back and ankle want to snap me, like yesterday, eh? Then I'm like, this is day two of a 17 day holiday. Eh? So I started Googling and it's like, oh, is this, how is it possible I sprained my ankle or that? Because I never sprained my ankle. And then they say, if you experience sharp pain like that, right? That you cannot even rest your body weight for a second, right? Means you have an inflamed ankle. Yeah. So then the inflammation is all going to take uh, ibuprofen. So then the pharmacy there is like free for all one, right? Like, you know what I mean? You can <laughs> buy anything. Eh? So then Pat bought the Advil for me, right? I eat and like 30 minutes later, I'm a new man eh. Like <laughs> when Pat bought that box of Advil, it was, I thought it was going to be like a blister pack, you know, like a f***ing Pan Panadol, that kind of, but she bought me a tuck. Yeah. Then I was like, f***ing you buy a tuck, this. I, I finished it, I buy a second box eh. <laughs> it's so amazing. <laughs> it's so amazing. That's how people get addicted to drugs. Yeah, like when I go to the concert or that, I, I just like, because it's a completely legal drug, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How many can you safely take in a day? You, you can eat one every four hours or six hours. Yeah. It's okay one, yeah. But then because the we went for the festival, right? The music festival, which yeah. is so surreal, guys. And they don't allow you to bring this, bring that, right? Mm. So in order to bring painkillers, I conspicuously <laughs> wrap it up in tissue and put it in my thing. So like oh during- You're a druggie. Yeah, oh so, so during fucking yeah. paramount. How set, you know right, how to do that? Eh? And I fucking paralyzed already, right? <laughs> <laughs> I opened my tissue. <laughs> 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 I'm consuming <laughs> some fucking drug. I just ordered some painkillers. <laughs> Yeah, but oh, that was New York. So magical, man. Yo, you, yeah. Do you have any interesting travel experiences with Ned? Or off <laughs> morning? <laughs> <laughs> For no reason. Okay, biggest travel fight. Oh. <laughs> yeah, like, have you ever fought on a trip and like, why? Oh, actually, she told us before, lah, right? Which one? The, the, KL, KL, the, one, the one you no. drove off. Definitely oh, yeah, but I never see KL as a trip because it's like going home. Yeah, true, me. True. Oh, that's true. Oh, you're actually on a trip now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're on a little f***ing long holiday. No, wow. but I, I agree with the whole planning thing, but I feel that I'm the problem because I'm very, like, schizo, if, if schizo, if that's, like, politically correct to say because I'm the kind that I don't it's want not. to plan, Yeah. but then when it comes to the day, I'm like, 
where's where's the plan? Like why oh. why didn't we plan this? Like like I need to know, you know, we're going here, we're going here, we're going. Because the thing I hate the most, right, is inefficient transport. I hate going to one place and then we come back here and then we go back to that area again. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Pat is watching this episode. Go, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, to me, it's like, like let's, let's go, let's finish everything here first, then we go here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then if we go to this big place and then this big place and then this big place, the natural way is to go this way, not there, here, and then, there, yeah. you know, you know. <laughs> so like, I get very annoyed by those things. And then what I always ask, like, Nat, right, is when we go to KL, what do you want to do? And then she has a lot of things that she want to do. So like, for example, if today we want to go bundle store shopping, then it's like, okay, there's no like five stores. The it's, trip it's shopping like trip shop. and the big oh. shop. Not, not, not that this was a problem. I think I can't remember what the example was really, but for example, there's like five bundle stores and they're all over different places. Then like to me, it's like, okay, you cannot just name me like one by one, right? In chronological order of when the listicle is listing it yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to tell me all of them so that I can go, okay, these five, are, these three are this side. Okay, then we go to these two first. So like to me, that like that's the most important thing in terms of the planning. I don't care what we do. But does Nat plan? Like is Nat? She the- she plans most of the things, even our wedding. Like I feel like oh. I I I'm more I'm more chinchai. Yeah. I just until the day of. No, like I don't care what we do as long as we know what we're doing. Right. Yeah. Then I will go along with the flow. But what I get annoyed with sometimes is like, um, oh, we have this like two hour gap and like uh, we really have no idea what to do as opposed to like, okay, this is two hour gap. The options are this, this and this. Right. And I'm like, okay, let's like decide. I'm just such a picky, but I don't, don't know how to do it. You just say you're chinchai. <laughs> That's why I'm schizo. Oh. Like it's really them, them like frustrating. One day I wake up and I'm like chinchai and then uh, they're So not. you are passive until you... you- the last minute. <laughs> yeah, or like, I think when I start feeling like this <laughs> holiday was wasted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, then I'll start <laughs> feeling like, oh, like, because really that, that the pressure of like every minute counts, right? Since you're overseas. I, I should say though, like the, the very important thing for couples, right? Is to both agree what kind of holiday you guys want. Because at mm-hmm. different stage of life, right? Okay, like if you guys are in your teens, like you say you got together when you're 18, you're going for a trip, right? Understood, it's going to be a budget trip. Mm. And then when you're like maybe 35 or whatever, assuming like you both are making enough dough and whatever, right? It's going to be a somewhat luxurious trip. But in your 20s, right? There's an awkward phase where you're not sure whether this is going to be a budget trip or a luxurious trip. Mm. And your expectations from your partner may really differ to the point where if the other one is booking the stuff and you're expecting like really nice hotels and then after yeah, that, yeah, you yeah, never yeah. really pay attention and then when you go there and then it's like, Oh, this is where we stay for the next five days. Speaking of fights, right? I actually had my first like proper fight like while we were overseas. Wow, like the, the worst. and then the worst part is her mom is on the trip with us. <gasps> yeah, so uh, story time. Essentially, what happened was that day. That day was the last day of the trip already, and then it was a very stressful day for me, right? Because like, I realized that I need to rush to go and buy souvenirs because like my family like they're the kind that like my mom will cope with me if I never buy anything right. that kind once. And then after that, I realized that suddenly in the company, there's a huge culture of buying souvenir, right? Then like, what the heck can I buy from this place to bring back to the company? Like everything that that place has, Singapore also have, what? Yeah. Then, like, I brought so- Tim Tams <laughs> <laughs> But he buy from the... Yeah, so then like, I was just having like a stressful day. And then on top of that, like, it, I felt like, I mean, like, well, I'm very thankful that she planned the whole trip and everything, right? Like, I felt like we didn't have enough time to rest because we were like rushing here, rushing there, rushing here, rushing right. there. Yeah, then after that, like, got a few days that I was thinking of work also. So then yeah. I, yeah, like, just suddenly it just accumulated to the last day where I was super stressed out. And then after that, at night, like, it started like pouring. What a break you had. <laughs> at night, it started pouring quite heavily. And then after that, for some reason, our hotel, right, the Grab app, right, cannot locate my hotel. Mm. So the I can only drop out at I can only drop at the pharmacy that's opposite yeah. the hotel. But then that day it was really he- heavily, heavily raining. And then like after finally like buying all the like snacks and everything like that, it was in like a carton box. So like that box cannot get wet because I need to check in the box one. Right. Yeah. So finally we managed to get a cap, right? And then after that when we bought, right, then I actually told the uncle, like, oh, uh, actually, our hotel is just directly opposite the pharmacy. Can you just, like, make that turn, ah, and drop us at the hotel? Then he say, uh, he don't understand, like, we reached there, then he tell me. And then I tell him. Then I thought, okay, fine. But then in my mind, I already had the vibe, right, that he's not going to do it already. Because the cab that came was actually, like, a local cab. Right. Like, it was not the Grab, like, private hire, their, mm-hmm. their own car, that kind. Those, they were actually very, very nice. Okay. So, finally, we reached back to the place. And then I point to him. I said, oh, it's literally, like, you see that door there, right? Yeah, that's, like, yeah. my hotel already. Eh. So, then I say, like, that's our, the way is so heavy. I say, that's our hotel. Can you turn and, like, drop us there? And then he say, like, no, I can only drop you at this location because you booked to this location. Then I say, but it's right there. <laughs> like the hotel is right opposite. Right? Then he say, uh, no lah, cause I booked here or what. Then he say like, okay. I, he asked for money. 
So he he say pay him money so that he will turn. So then we offered him I think the equivalent of like two dollars or something. Hey, sorry. Yeah, I think the equivalent of like about like two dollars. Then after that, cause Grab there is very cheap. Everything is like within five dollars. Yeah. yeah. So then we offer him, and then he say, oh, that can't even pay for my petrol. So then it became very clear that he was trying to extort money. Yeah. And then like, so I was quite pissed off. Ah. Then I say like, it's clearly the distance is so short. Like, how can that be possible? Then he just refused. And then he like his attitude was quite bad about it also. So then like, you know, I don't curse one. Yeah. But then like, I was just so upset in the moment. Like, I, I pushed open the door right there. I say, okay, la, then we just get down here. La, f-. Then, yeah. And I was not directing it at him. Like yeah. it was just an outburst of emotions in that moment. La. And then he got angry. So he didn't hit me, but it was like a, like he nudged me like that, that kind of thing. Mm. Because I was sitting in front seat. So that he right. kind of like nudged me. Then he was like, why you say, why you say the F word? That kind of stuff. Then I say, I was not st- saying to, I'm not saying it to you. Like. I say, we're already getting off. Right? Then he said, you are in the wrong. Then I say, yeah, like, I'm in the wrong. Then I'm getting off. Then done. Right? right? Then, yeah. So then, but in that moment, like, like both of them they sit behind her and her mom, right? Yeah, then I can yeah. feel like there's a they stress. Yeah, they because stress. of the tension, lah. Yeah, then yeah. after that they then they like sh- try to like calm down. They say, "Never mind, never mind. Let's just get off. Let's just get off." Then after that, we faster get off and like run across the road, really long. Then you so, left the curtain in the cab. No, no, no. We brought it. Then it's like protect, lah. Protect that. <laughs> so then after that, we get into the hot. We get back to the hotel. Then like nobody was talking at that point, right? And then like I feel very awkward. Like I know that. Like I know that I should not have done that. But then I felt very justified in my emotions yeah. at that point, ma, because of all the build up internally. Mm. Then, but also I was a bit embarrassed that this happened in front of her mom. Yeah. Yeah. So then, like, and I know she was upset about it also. Yeah. Mm. But I at that point I didn't know why. Mm. Yeah. So after that, once we got back to the hotel, then she, it was a pen. It was a like what is that a pen loft? Uh, yeah. So then she straight away go upstairs. Then like, uh, my bed downstairs, ma. So. Like I straight away go inside the toilet also and just to like calm myself down. La. So the moment I came out, then the mom was like in the kitchen area, like kind of packing up. Then I apologized to the mom first. Mm. Like I say like sorry. La. Then the mom like a bit like uh and she was very, very nice about it. So she actually like said, uh, I don't know why like the driver like like that also like yeah. so so stingy or like so difficult to talk to, that kind mm. of stuff. Yeah, so she like didn't blame me, la, which I'm very, very thankful for. Then after that later. Uh, so I just like kind of like I I wash up then after I just lie down in bed really then I just like didn't want to talk lah. so then my partner came down then she said like uh, you shouldn't have reacted like that and like like also kind of like said that I'm in the wrong lah. then in that moment I was just so upset because it felt like she didn't understand yeah. why I reacted like that and it just felt like she was trying to I'm like, struggling to understand why they are upset and honestly yeah okay no, mm. no no it makes sense when I explain it so then yeah, then after I couldn't take it, then I just walked off or so. Then yeah. as in, I, I said to her like, like, don't come to me now because I don't want to say anything that is going to like hurt you. Wow, so much self-control. So then I walk off, then I go inside the toilet again. <laughs> yeah, then after the time I came out, then she kind of explained <laughs> that like, I have, really put them, I have put them in danger in that moment because we were overseas. Mm. Then we are all girls. And then like, he could have done anything to us, right? He could have caught somebody, he could have locked the car door, he could have like done a lot of things. Like if he really want to beat me, right? I don't, I might not win, ma, you know what I mean? Yeah. So she said like, especially in like overseas, right? Then she, she felt like it was unjustified for me to react that way because I'm putting everyone in danger. Mm, yeah. yeah. And then at the same time, like probably there was no need. It, it was an overreaction, I admit. Yeah. Yeah. But then like to me, it's like, how come she could not, like she did not understand the build up. Yeah. Yeah. Like to me, there's a very logical build up, even though it's a overreaction. Mm. Yeah. So I just felt very unheard. Lor. Then, but, but then cause the mom is like upstairs, right? Uh, then we are downstairs. Then we are like whisper fighting. Then like, then, yeah, yeah. Whisper fights are so funny. Yeah. And then, why? But you did have to say that. Yeah. Yeah. No, then, like, you, then you play a power move where you actually really shout. Then you say like, you yeah. shout. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you dare you also shout. Yeah. 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 Then she, like, actually, she also said that like after that like, So after we kind of resolve it, then like the next. Uh, sorry. So after we kind of resolve it, then she also explain that like, cause I, we eventually got to the point where I got her to understand that like, I just didn't feel hurt. Like, so if she had, the first time when she came down to talk to me, right? If she had just said like, oh, I understand like, why you reacted like that, but you should. Or sided, or first sided you at being angry with that guy first. Yeah. yeah. They say, hey, actually just now you could have was in danger, you would have been okay. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. so I just felt like, I was really so upset and then she come to condemn me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah, I, yeah. after like, she understood then she, she kind of like admitted that like, because I'm such a calm person, like I don't react yeah. like that one. So she said that like, she realized that she just didn't know how to deal with my emotions in that moment. So, and it was also like seeing a different side of me. Yeah. Then plus like overseas and then she just didn't know how to handle it. Yeah. 
Yeah. You know yeah. what I, what I hate is that people call that oh I've seen her true colors. No, this is her when she's very frustrated. Mm, it's yeah. not her true colors. Mm. Yeah. But but that is something that traveling with your partner can show you, lor. Yeah. Right? yeah. It really brings that out. Uh. Can I, I was can actually I... really scared also. Like I I like for some moment I was like wow like she's seen such a poor side of me right then I just wonder like how it makes her oh, honestly I now. thought it was so interesting that you it showed her that you were willing to stand you like you can stand your ground you know yeah, yeah. like I being with you despite being born female right mm-hmm. like I feel the sense of security yeah. That's, that was what I thought <laughs> I felt so why like from which you? part like you, the part no, I like shout legit right you think you can take the guy <laughs> In what kind of a fight? Chance, like, like, no, no, right. Scrappy. No, no, scrappy. No weapons. I think can. I think can. Because he's like slightly older. Like he's a bit... Uncle. Yeah, uncle, yeah. I would say that I think Ned and I have been very, very lucky because we made some stupid... Okay, at least for my part, I feel like we made some stupid decisions and we really got away with it. Like for overseas, example, right? Uh, yeah, like I think... I have been too trusting of strangers that I think <laughs> if it was anyone else, right, we could have really been in danger and I'm so lucky about it. Like, I remember, um, I think in Korea, right, for example, we, we needed to take a train to our, our Airbnb, but we took the last train and the connecting, we just missed the connecting one and we were damn far away, right? And there were two young kids, like, I think, maybe not young kids, but like 18, 19, who were like in the same situation as us. And then they came up to us and were like, hey, where, where you headed to? And that stupid me said exactly where we were headed to instead of asking where you headed to first, right? And he said, oh my God, we're going to the same place. Do you want to share a cab? And then oh. my dumbass nurse, right? Didn't even go, hey, Ned, what do you think? Or like whatever. Mm. I just thought, yeah, I think you should. Uh. Yeah, why not? I split, what? <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> but, Sounds like, good. <laughs> but like, can't see anything that will go wrong with this. Exactly. And then like, and I'm thinking about it, right? And I remember being in the, in the car also going, oh my God, like, what the f***? Like, what are they going to do? Like, did they like, team up with the driver maybe yeah, they know each other are they going to mm. rob us are they going to bring us but in the end right like thankfully they were just nice students that really just wanted to share a cab oh they really speak oh. a cab yeah oh okay <laughs> they really oh, just speak nice. a cab and they just said hey thanks so much and we were like I was like literally thank you so much for being normal people and they spoke English also so that was where, where was this? Korea like right. so but did Ned like when you said like hey maybe we should go like was she hesitant or like like I think we knew what the options were which was that if we walked out of like so we walked out to the the, the, the train first and we said like I think we, we followed them we said we don't we don't know yet like can, can we walk up first and see mm-hmm. what is true and the whole place was deserted already there's no cabs oh, going by oh. like it was quite difficult and they had to use like some app to call for the, the right healing yeah. like cacao or something I don't know but we, we didn't have cacao. it la. so like we knew that we were stuck and these guys were really if if they were really decent guys it was the best option mm-hmm. if yeah. not then we have to walk for like maybe one and a half hours back to like our hotel or whatever. Yeah, I, I feel like when it comes to safety, I, I encountered the same thing as well. And essentially is that I wasn't considering the fact that if I'm going to travel with my partner, right, it's somewhat my responsibility to also make sure that I can protect her. Yeah. Or I don't get us into situations that are, are, are dangerous and whatever, right? So Which is what there I was this. The, I think the first time I ever traveled with a girlfriend overseas, right? Ew. We went to, I think, Hong Kong. Uh, Ooh. And and so there was like it was like the fourth or fifth night there already, uh. so I thought like okay la, we quite we quite seasoned with the culture already uh. and then we look at throw a little bit of kento over here you know? <laughs> let's dim sum here dim sum there you know then <laughs> <That's not even laughs> yeah, yeah. so so then it was a nighttime thing it was raining already we were trying to look for like an interesting place to go in. and and I like to go and seek like some a bit more dodgy locations kind of so without really thinking right I go and find this weird fucking rooftop bar and it was like really located in some back alley you take one like run down building elevator you go and just see one o o button there then got the bar name right just go and press then we go you know so we go all the way up right <laughs> the moment the lift door open it's just three tables right and then they look like they're all friends and like a bit gang run. they oh. all just turn and stare at us then we are like totally don't know what the f- we're doing there the kind of fight. and <laughs> yeah Sorry. and then and then i no, I, I thought about it for a moment right but i was like oh, 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 this, but the moment the lift door opened, something like tingled a bit. I felt like, oh shit, I need to switch on like that. Yeah. That defensive mode right away, you know. So it was a nice bar, uh, but but wow, really lot. It's pouring, we got nowhere else to go, so we just we just walked straight in. Uh. Then after that, I straight hold her hand already, then like a bit scared, right? Then then the person just looked at me, then like like kind of like not even a high welcome. Can you you yeah, wanna sit? Yeah. Huh? How can I serve you? It's, what you want you know right, that kind of fight yeah, yeah. they're just oh it's just two of us we just want to get some drinks <laughs> I like a bit pricey you know then so then they lead us to go and sit down and all the kind of thing. Ah, then at that point straight away right, I'm like okay she sit here and then I position myself so that I have, can yeah, position yeah, yeah. everybody yeah. else look at the exit all this kind of thing and then I start to panic at this, yeah. then <laughs> then we order like uh, like a few drinks then like mix it around then every drink I look I try to see like 
yeah, <laughs> can yeah. see who the spike or not? Yeah, <laughs> you know that yeah, kind of thing. Yeah. Then then we drink, 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 and then actually it turned out to be fantastic. <laughs> then then, then the, the bar owner ended up talking to us for a whole hour, then we make friends with them. Then the other the experience. Yeah. Uh. But when you when you're traveling that time and then you are you're really you are helpless to the environment and the situation, right? Yeah. Wow. Then that feeling makes you feel like claustrophobic, trap, and then also like very wary, which is important. Yeah. Like I realized that that could have gone wrong in many ways, yeah. right? Mm. Um, I'm thankfully it, it went well, lah. Yeah. But after that, I, I straight away think to myself like, wow, I can never put my partner in a situation mm. like that. Yeah. yeah. Like <laughs> my partner, I have this signal one. Like for example, if we are walking on on the sidewalk, right? Uh -huh. Then like there's like a homeless person walking towards us and like walk not straight that kind, right? And maybe I'm here and she's here. Like I would walk faster and then she would know she will step behind me and then yeah. Then like if let's say this is this is the man, right? And we are all we are going in separate direction, right? Like Pat position, is here, yeah. uh, she will come here and then she she will keep like we will keep separating. Like it will always be me dividing her yeah, yeah, with yeah. the right, other person. Right. Yeah. And then I will make way and then she will make way, it's like a dance. Nice, yeah. nice. And we practice for many years. And so then she will wrong, I'll be like, here. <laughs> <laughs> then she step on your foot a bit. Eh? <laughs> it's not it's really like a dance, because everywhere we go, right? Yeah. It's like it's like that dance where I will divide her from a potential threat, you know? Then yeah. cut to the white uh, shot, then it's just two people going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's big normal. But like, that's why instinct they attack Asians all the time. <laughs> yeah. Either way, I, th I think the reason why I'm very grateful to travel with Ned is because we, um, like I think the one thing that we really love to do is to always eat very, very cheap all the time. So we can mm. like stay in a damn nice hotel. All the money is saved in like eating cheap. And I, to me, I think again, is that is that if you are a couple and then there's a mismatch in that, right? Watch right. Yeah. I think like I agree. Like, I need to find that somewhat complimentary. Yeah, so yeah. like, for example, my partner, she's super good with the planning. But when mm. we go there, right, it's plans change. Right, then like, I am very like, on my feet, that kind of stuff, and then like sh we agree. Yeah, you yeah. need balance. Even off. with my friends, so we went uh to Batam like a few years back, right? And then like Something we got like some like steamboat nights or whatever. Then we realized that like three of them like to cook. Then the other two of us don't know how to cook, so we just wash. So <laughs> then we just match. Hmm. Yeah. So that it's just division of labor is just fair. I think it's really important if you're on a group trip, right? For everybody to assume a role. Mm. You know. Yeah, yeah, don't be the useless one. Yeah, because when I went to <laughs> Melbourne with my best friend, right? God. I can drive and she can drive also. I'm just not confident in driving. Mm. And so she was the designated driver. Yeah, and we did the Great Ocean sleeper. Drive. Oh Ooh. yeah. And, and because at, uh, I think towards the end of the day, the highways in Australia don't have like street lamps. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so we had to rush back when sun was going down. And basically she was damn tired because she go up, she go down. Mm. And then I can just sit there and be like, like and she's like obviously tired. And then she's like, mean one sort of me. Then I'm like, no, but I felt really bad. But oh, it's like if so I you drove, were the right, useless one. if I yeah, if I drove, then we will all be in danger. Then must pay insurance. You should it? have drive in the daytime. Yeah, no, yeah you settled that earlier. one first. Yeah. yeah, and and like we went with two of our friends, our guy friends. They are younger than us, and they were like, they could only drive, and they could only learn to drive. Um, but it was during the pandemic, right. so they don't have license. Right. So they also felt very bad. Then I was just mm -hmm. the the car DJ. Then the other guy was just the wayfarer. So he just tell her where to turn and everything. Then the other guy sleeping at the back. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Another useless one. Wait, there's more than one useless yeah, person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's only one useful one. <laughs> no lah, but you can be the, like as the co-pilot, right? Usually mm. you can be the yeah. one that's alert, helping to watch. Yeah, yeah. you're like the ready But then you make up for it in like other parts of the trip, no? like deciding yeah. Yeah. where to correct, go, correct, correct. Uh, the yeah, directions. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, so sorry, Fel, don't hit me. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> So for some context, John went to the toilet. Uh, we have Charlene, the producer, who has a in very interesting story. Eh? No, it's not interesting. Okay, the first time I went overseas with my boyfriend, right? Um, like my previous boyfriend. I oh, not, the, not the current. Yeah, I found out he was cheating on me when we just arrived, and I had to spend like the next five, six days. <gasps> With him, yeah. Wait, how do you how do you find yeah, out? Yeah, how do you find oh out? Oh my gosh. Uh, oh shit, do you want to revisit this? Oh, no. As in, I'm not the kind of person to like no. check people's phone. But, yeah. It just uh, popped it just up. Really but because you travel so close all the time, then can see lah. Oh mm. my god. So pro tip again, when you're traveling, guys, please ah. Uh, Use your spare sure phone. You protect Use your privacy. Phone. Ah, yeah. Backup <laughs> phone, backup phone. <laughs> Tell your side bitch that uh we take a five day break. Yeah. Yeah. Or so rename side bitch as mum. Yeah. Because the, the day before, <laughs> like the flight, right? He was saying, he was telling the girl, uh, I miss you so much. I wish you were here. <gasps> like in my bed, blah, blah, blah. Then I'm like, huh? Wait, so after you found out, did you confront him? I was crying. Then I, 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 I like, I, 
I was like, why, why, why would you do this to me? And then right. he said, I'm sorry. But it doesn't help. I mean, it doesn't. I paid for the f-ing trip. Yeah, and you're stuck there for like you five paid days. You for even. everything? I paid for everything. Huh? Yeah. Why? Like Sugar that. mommy! Because he's a broke ass. Whoa! <laughs> Let's talk to him. Look into the camera and tell us his full name, NRIC. <laughs> <laughs> Where he stays. Where he stays. No. Then how? Then how? So you, you continued? Yeah, I just had to... And I was with my mom and my sister. Well. <gasps> oh! So, I had to pretend that... Everything was okay. Fine. Yeah. But that's to not ruin their trip. Mm. Or not ruin their impression of him. Both. Hey, oh, I will just so tell kind? my mom and sis yes, yeah. and ask him to f*** off. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, ask him to take the Go home. home. Go home, Blake. Then you all three can continue <laughs> to enjoy your trip. <laughs> woo, woo. <laughs> Why? What are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? Why are you enjoying? I... Do, I I don't know. I think in that moment, she probably also didn't know how to react. Right? Like, they go overseas with a set expectation, right? And then she's yala, finding yala. this out on the spot, right? What are you expecting? Yeah. Wow. Oh my gosh. How old are you? You do audio? I was 19. <laughs> you do audio? <laughs> you were 19. I was 19. No. Oh, shit. Yeah. So, no. So, so then, how, like, what happened? Like, over the course of the next, the rest of the trip, right? Like, you just ignore him or you just pretend that everything is fine or do you all keep talking about it in between? You know what I mean? When you're alone or like what? Um, or was he fighting all the way? Okay, so at that period, um, at that point of time, I was uh, the kind of person Pregnant, that would yeah. always like self-contain yeah. my thoughts. Yeah. yeah, I would just internalize it, but I wouldn't actually like verbalize or tell anybody my opinion. So I just kept it in. I didn't really speak to him about it. I just, why would you do this? You know that it's something that affects me because I witnessed this kind of thing when I was very young. Okay. Yeah, so it's very... Devast- yeah, devastating to see it happen to other people and then now mm. it's happening to me. Mm. And I'm a 19-year-old. I I barely have any money. I'm paying for this trip, you know. So following like that confrontation, right? Mm. Did he, like over the next few days, did you feel like he was trying to make, make things up to you? Or like how did he like react after that. You know she asked I mean? for less pocket money each day. <laughs> Just $2, please. <laughs> to be fair, you know, he's actually like four years older than me. And you paid for his mm. trip. And Go home! Yeah, and then, and then he's... He'll be too lazy to work. And I will used to like study and work part time, and then I know that he doesn't have enough money, right? Then I'll just give him my money. This guy is a yeah. Yeah. Like you also be stupid, like, honest, I, to be honest. I, and, and that's <laughs> why when I look back, yeah, like, uh, <laughs> when I look back on it, I'm just like, oh, okay, Shalim, you're very, very yeah. naive. You learn la. So did y'all break up right after the trip? No, I stayed with him for another. You needed to punish yourself a bit more. <laughs> one year, three months. You stayed for another no. one year. Yeah, and. Oh. It came to a, okay. So on the the worst part was when I was on a trip with my mom, right? I just kept crying because I, I wasn't saying um why I was crying mm. anyway. She was like, "Why wow, she's so grateful then to spend she, time with me?" You know, she said, "Oh, you should treat your boyfriend better." Oh. And then I only told her that he was cheating on me because he over the period of one and a half years he cheated on me more than once, and that so the the over Is it since you found out or before that already he was cheating. That was the first time I found out that he was cheating. Right. Then subsequently, throughout the relationship, I found out that he was cheating even more. Yeah. <sighs> Doit. Then, only when I... The day before I broke up with him, I told my mom. I said, you know, you said this to me, but actually he was cheating on me. And he's cheating on me again. So I'm going to break up with him now. Yeah, please don't like... You know, don't assume things. Yeah, no. you, don't, you don't even know the, the full, full picture. Yeah. 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 So, uh, how's the rest of the trip? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so sick of it. <laughs> where you no? Where you go? Yeah, Australia. Oh, I, oh, you paid for an yeah. Australian oh. trip. Oh, wow, wow. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So, 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 any advice you have for, for <laughs> couples that are going to be traveling for the first time this holiday? Don't go to Australia. <laughs> don't don't pay for the other person's trip. Uh, well, actually, money on a trip is such a like. Difficult thing. If you can't afford it, just don't go la. Everything 50-50 yeah, no me. Yeah, no, because I we travel with her mom. Uh. So then like Then the mother pay ah? No la. Guys, the most sorry, important sorry. apps, right, are honestly <laughs> if like Revolut or Transferwise or, or U Trip for like for like well, money. U-trip's so great. Right? Because you get to pump in SGD and then mm. it'll convert for you in good fees. And, and you can lock uh, the rates. This is not an app. It's true. But if you go on group trips, right, there's this 
app called Splitwise. <laughs> if you ever go on like group trips, right? Splitwise is so good. Like I, I went for trips now with like four, four or five people, right? It doesn't matter who pays because you all just keep the receipts. Every night, everyone just tell you, I paid for this. It was split amongst these people. And then at the end of the trip, right? It will tell you this person, it will contra for you. Mm-hmm. So this person owes this person how much? This oh, person owes this person how much? Yeah. You owe me this person, like how much and all that. Right. Fantastic. If wow. it's a group trip, usually what I'll do is I'll just, okay, how much we want to put together, we put into this like, you know when you change money at the airport or whatever, they will still give you the packet, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you just use that as the, the petty cash or whatever. Mm. Then all expenses, just use that one. Because yeah. yeah. most of the experiences, you're going to share anyway, right? So right. the cost will be the same. Same thing for couples, like, I would, I would, I would yeah. assume. Okay, so thank you for watching today's episode. If you have any travel tips, especially for couples or for traveling with friends, put them down in the comments below. Mm. Like, share and subscribe and comment, wow, John became so chill. <laughs> <laughs> See you in the next episode. Yeah. Like a, a similar oh, like so taxi thing, right? So we're like, oh, we're just going to the terminal. It's like, yeah, the terminal. And then you just say 60. It's like, ah, 60 is okay. So 60, I don't know. I mean, I forgot what's the number, but it feels like a... A okay number. So I thought, fair enough, right? I'm going to get talk and I'm in a rush. I don't like just... And I, I know you are already trying to trap me already and I, and I buy it. Mm. Then on the way there while reaching, right? He tell us it's 60 USD. Then we just decide, Doana. We both look at that guy. We say, you, why you waste our time? Eh? You know where the f- stop. We shout him good one, and we both open the door. Both sides, we could just leave. Wow, <laughs> that was I know. We can travel together. Yeah. <laughs> wow. We're gonna go gang fights together. You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs>